Alright guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to rip up clothing from the library of clothing that you already have in Adobe Fuse CC. Um, not only is this for ripping up clothing, but this is also for um, editing the textures of clothing and editing the textures of the body of your Fuse character itself. So to get started, uh, I'm going to create ripped clothing for a zombie. So if you haven't seen my video before, um, I'll put a link into the description below or you can click on the annotation and it's basically a video on how I imported uh, this zombie into uh, Adobe Fuse CC. And this is the zombie from the old version of Xamo Fuse 1.3. So I'm going to construct it. And I'm going to go into the clothing tab but actually before I do that I want to customize it. I'm just going to click randomize all. And which one looks ugly? Yeah, okay, not that, not that, not that. That's fine. Okay, I guess I'll work with this. So I'm gonna go into the clothing tab, and I wanna choose some clothing that this zombie is gonna wear that's going to be ripped up. So I'm gonna click Relax V neck T. That's the clothing that I'm gonna use. And uh, bottoms, I'm going to uh, let's say. Tailored short, I guess that works. Yeah, why not? And then texture, uh, fix the textures to how you like it. I'm going to uh, fix it the way I like it. All right, so I just finished uh, creating my zombie here. What you're gonna wanna do is go into edit, preferences, and you wanna uncheck remove occluded polygons. And this is only if you want to rip up the clothing is you wanna Check, uncheck that. So I'm going to click OK and I'll explain to you why you guys need to do this later. But uh, click on File and now you want to export. You want to export the model as an OBJ or you can save it to your CC libraries but I'm going to export the model as an OBJ. Make sure these settings are at its default. Click OK and uh, I already have it saved from the last take of the video but I'm just going to delete it and I'm just going to call it Basic Zombie 1 click save and I'll get back with you guys once this is done so here we are in Photoshop CC this is where I'm going to rip up the clothing on my zombie so what you want to do is click on new uh, I'm gonna call it basic zombie Photoshop project and uh, you can change your document type I'm just gonna leave it at the default Photoshop size and uh, click OK and now you're going to go into 3D, new 3D layer from file. And uh, I'm already here on basic zombie one, so I'm going to double click on the OBJ file. And click OK. Okay, so our zombie is right here, and the first thing I notice is that the geometry of the body is clipping with the geometry of the shirt. And so we're going to fix that by um, heading over to the body's material tab. On opacity, click this button, click replace texture. All right, we're gonna find where uh, Adobe Fuse CC was installed. And then go into data, domains, XAML, cloths, and we're gonna find our shirt, which was top male fit a relaxed V neck tee. It might be different for you depending on which shirt you used. I'm gonna double click that. And um, by default, you might not see these. Just change your um, viewing to all formats or PNG. And then double click occlusion mask. And as you can see, all of the um, clipping is gone. And that's because if we hit it to edit texture here, um, the occlusion mask substitutes as a opacity mask. So that's pretty convenient. And you can do the same if there's clipping with your uh, pants. All you need to do is just combine the occlusion mask of your shirt and pants and put it onto here. Just make sure that it lines up perfectly with your UVs. Now that we have that done, uh, we're going to rip up the clothing. So in order to make rips to the clothing, we're going to need to um, edit the opacity mask of the shirt itself. So I'm going to go into tops. Uh, head over to the tops material tab 
go into opacity, click this, click edit texture. And I'm actually just gonna use a hard brush and paint a smiley face and a sad face. I don't have a good um, brush to make ripped um, clothing. So you guys can find custom brushes that will work great for making ripped clothing, but the basic idea, it still applies. So I'm gonna create a smiley face here. It's a terrible smiley face and a sad face here. make a sad face here and if we head over here we can see that um, let me go to my current view we can see that we can um, our quote-unquote rips are showing but the body isn't under it and that's because um, when we replace the opacity mask of the body with the occlusion mask it's masking out the entire torso section or the entire section that the shirt is covering. So we're going to need to edit that. And a great way to edit that is by doing this. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to save this and close out of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the um, body material tab right here. And you're going to click on the opacity tab once again and click edit texture. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to here, grab this tab and drag it down and move it a little bit to the side. Okay. Now make sure your paintbrush is selected and make sure that white is selected. And as you can see, anywhere I aim is um, going to show on the crosshairs right here. So that's pretty convenient. So I'm going to paint white of the areas that I want to show. All right, here we go. I'm gonna paint white here. And make sure we're really accurate with our um, paint brushing. I'm gonna paint white here. And now what we're gonna do is, oh, we got some clipping here, so we're gonna have to switch to black. I press X to uh, switch back to the black. I'm just gonna, okay, switch back to white. And switch back to black. I'm gonna decrease the size of my brush. Slowly approach that. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, come on. I think almost there. There we go. All right, that's fine. And then what you want to do is you want to head over to the character's backside. So go into this, click um, the move tool, rotate your um, default camera. So current view, sorry, not your default camera, your current view. And rotate, oh, so that's not the rotate tab rotate around so we're going to need to um, edit this now we don't have a lot of lighting here but you can add lighting I'm just going to bear with it so back to here paintbrush selected and now I'm going to paint white over here and I'm going to paint white over here and I'm gonna paint white over here so this is gonna take a little bit I'll just skip this part of the video to um, speed this up okay so I finished uh, I kind of gave in I had to um, adjust the lighting but um pretty much done for that part so I'm going to select this rotate back so that's not the rotate button god rotate back so I'm gonna go to my default camera infinite light I'm gonna rotate that so I get some good lighting on the front I can just up all right uh, 
down here. Alright, that's good. Okay, and now go back to the default view and we can examine it. So we got some skin showing here and we got, okay, God. We got some skin showing here. And if we disable our shirt, we only got what needs to be shown. Everything else is transparent. So that's good. That means we're pretty much done here. So to export, go onto your layers tab, click on basic zombie, click on export 3D layer, and you're gonna export it as an OBJ. And from there, I'm not gonna export it, but from there, you're pretty much done. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, comment down below, and thank you guys for watching.